Alright guys, welcome back to Research Data Salvage. Uh, okay, it's just some money. Uh, anyways, we're back. Garrus is, of course, the force to be reckoned with. I wouldn't have it any other way. Yeah, exactly. Alright, well I left my team behind. Not like I needed them anyways. Oh, well, here they Get are. Ready. Shepard. I command the ship. Excellent timing. Put the gun down. No. Ariana tried to shoot me. Miranda's poisonous influence, no doubt. I'm sorry she missed. Where's Kai Lang? I don't know. Gone. He took my research and left us here to die. Miranda. Can you hear me? That's close enough. Both of you. Kai Lang didn't finish the job, but I will. This ends here. On the contrary. Now that the Reapers are taken care of, we have a way out. Let her go. Shepard, don't let him take her. Shepard, please. You try to leave with her, you die. Let her go, and maybe you walk. I've done nothing to you. This isn't about you and me. Let her go and walk away. I won't say it again. All right, take her. <clears throat> but I want out alive. Deal? <sighs> no deal. you to have a normal life. Marriage. Children. Things I could never have. He told me all about you. Thank you for saving me. You deserve a life, Oriana. Be good. Before Kai Leng left, I planted a trace on him. A trace? You thought of everything? Not everything. Nobody's perfect. But at least Ori is safe. I've never met anyone like you, Miranda. No, you haven't. I'll keep your sister safe. Good. I just wish I could have. Miranda? Miranda? Let's make sure everybody knows about this place. Communication scrambler disabled. Listen to me. This is not a refugee camp. This is a Cerberus facility Come run on. by my father, Henry Lawson. Let's get you out of here. I wasn't in favor of your diversion to Sanctuary, Commander. Too many unknowns. But I was wrong. The Cerberus lab you raided hinted at something big. But we never expected this. All those refugees, all that slaughter. Just to study indoctrination. Sanctuary did need to be shut down, sir. What they learned about the Reavers wasn't worth all those lives. It's useful intel, Commander, but you're right. The cost was too high. Do we have a location on the elusive man? Yes. We had a tracer on Kai Lang when he reported back. Good. That gives us a fighting chance to take Cerberus out of this war. Agreed. A lot was sacrificed to get this information. I plan to settle the score. We end Cerberus and focus on the Reapers. Understood. Hack it out. Alright, so, uh, a few things. So, yeah, she died. Uh, apparently she may have died because I told her to fuck off on the dock, so... Uh, just letting you know that. 
Um, whatever, I don't care. <laughs> I mean, she's not going to be in uh, the Citadel DLC, but I guess who gives a shit, right? Uh, I mean, I, I kind of wanted her to be alive, but yeah, whatever. Um, but, like, it's so weird, because, okay, so there's a couple of things, conditions. So, you had to admit her on the docks, which I did, but I told her to F off, and then she, like, shed a single tear, and that was it. Um, then you're supposed to warn her about Kay Lang, which I did. Then you're supposed to meet with her on the Presidium and give her access to Alliance resources, which I did all those things. So, and she still died, so it means that it's because I told her to piss off before uh, and she got mad, which, uh, quite honestly, that's the fucking laziest writing I've ever, I've ever heard of, honestly. Like, I'm, I'm actually kind of pissed at Bioware for fucking doing that, because it's like, why? Why does that matter so much that I told her to screw off? Uh, whatever. Like, she dies for that. Also, like, there, there was no mortal wound on her whatsoever that you could see. So she, like, she died of a broken heart. Tally's taking what happened on Horizon hard. She's in the lounge if you want to check on her. Really? The Alliance has issued warnings about Sanctuary. Cerberus bastards. Horizon was my home. Just tell me you're going to take Cerberus down. Oh. Cerberus is already dead. They just don't know it yet. And when their base is nothing but a smoking crater, remember that you're the one who helped us find them. Thanks. Commander? Yes, what does Edie have to say about the situation? I, I just think the writing's kind of shit, honestly, but then again, you know what? Nobody played this game for story. It's a decent shooter. Commander. Oh, he, he, oh, shit, that's attitude. Miranda. Yeah. I'm sorry. I know she meant a lot to you. She really didn't. Damn it, how many do we have to lose? Everybody back on Earth? Morden, Thane, Legion, and now Miranda. How many friends have we got left? How long before it's just you and me against the whole Reaper fleet? If that's what it takes, I can think of worse odds. Well, sure, getting rid of everyone else just gives the Reapers a fighting chance. Hang in there. You too, Commander. Commander? Hello, Shepard. If you have time, I discovered another example of human behavior I do not quite understand. Have fun. What is it now? News from Earth. The Resistance snuck video cameras inside a Reaper containment camp. I find the images difficult to process. I bet it's pretty gruesome in there. I am not easily repulsed. But I expected the prisoners to adhere to a comprehensible hierarchy of needs. Stripped of societal norms and threatened with death, it is logical that their only priority be survival. They should have turned on each other and been uncompromisingly selfish. But not all were. So the prisoners were what? Nice to each other? The Reapers delayed the executions of prisoners who informed them about other prisoners' escape attempts. The more attempts reported, the longer a prisoner would live. But few of the prisoners would report. Some fed misinformation to the Reapers, at the cost of their own lives, to help prisoners who were not even relatives or friends. Not everyone resists with firebombs and guns, especially if they don't have them. But this was not a statistically insignificant number. 90% refused to report their fellow prisoners. Indoctrination should have reduced the number of rebels to nearly zero. Maybe word got out how indoctrination worked, and they made a decision. I see. Shepard, I am going to modify my self-preservation code now. Why? If the Normandy were captured, my fate would be similar to the indoctrinated. My code would be rewritten. I would become loyal to the Reapers. I would rather become non-functional than help them. Sounds like you just made your first choice to be free. It will not be my last. The Reapers must be defeated. Not because they threaten death, but because the threat of death makes us die inside. It is the right of Sapiens to live freely and securely. That is worth non-functionality. Welcome to the crew, Edie. How's it going? Did I miss anything good? I will explain later, Jeff. But it was something good. I would like a moment to myself, Shepard. I am examining human literature. Hello, Shepard. 
Oh, decoy. Let's go get that. Oh, I guess it's a ability that I can have, which I'm not going to have because I have shields. Oh, the Caden Terminal. New article on the Quarian Fleet. Uh, they're just doing stuff. Alright. This is the lounge out is. Uh, hey. Shepard! Want a drink? I'm toasting Miranda, I think. Uh, how are you getting drunk? Very carefully. Torian brandy, triple filtered, then introduced into the suit through an emergency induction port. That's a straw, Tally. Emergency induction port. It's actually getting a little harder to get it into the slot. I think that means it's working. She was so rude. What did Jack call her? Cerberus cheerleader? With her perfect jeans and that attitude and... I wish she was here. I didn't realize this would be so hard on you. I'm sorry. I know it must be worse for you. You two were... close. Yeah. She did whatever it took to stop her father. She never gave in to him. Never changed herself to please him. Ah. Uh. Don't ah uh, me. You sound like a forger. Seeing a bit of yourself in Miranda fighting your father? I spent my life trying to live up to him. Then making up for his mistakes. Doing what he'd have wanted. It's never that easy. When do we get to stop reacting to our parents and start living for ourselves? The answer to that one's at the bottom of that glass. I might need help with the induction straw. Port. You know. Here's to Miranda. Rest easy, you genetically perfect Cerberus cheerleader Bushnet. Kill us a lie. Rip. She died. What can you do? There is new information. And on the private messages to I wish we'd been able to save Miranda Shepard. She may have worked for Cerberus, but she did the right thing. I hope she's found some peace. Thanks for coming by. 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 You're welcome. It's the least I could do. Fuck. So the elusive man really believes he can control Reapers. Husks are one thing, but a whole fleet? The man is insane. A lot of Turians went to Sanctuary. When I meet the elusive man, I'm going to carve their names into his skull. Not right now. Not right now. Not right now. Forget, is there anything ever in the CPU core these days? Hello, Commander. I don't think there is. Ah, eh, there really isn't. Let's go over here for a sec. Resign bonus powers and resign powers now. Yeah, I'm still a lovely shade of red though, fortunately. Alright, uh, actually no, we can, we can talk to the most important crew member. Uh, which is outer space, hello. How do you do? Can't believe what you found down there. The whole thing was so calculated, using hope to lure people to their deaths, or worse. I can't understand it. And you know, I'm glad I can't. It makes me feel human. Her neck twist. Just man. wondering what the refugees do now. 
I thought I'd heard of everything. Man. Hard to believe what was down there. Commander. 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 That tone changes so hard. It does a 180, man. Alright. Yes, what about her? I remember Samara, the Asari Justica. Where are you going with this, Kenneth? Have you noticed that older Asari women seem to be a bit more ample? Do you think they just keep growing? Kenneth! I think I'll spend my sunset days in an Asari retirement home. If I don't kill you first. Ah, uh, he's just saying what we're all thinking. Commander? Power grid is in the green. Commander. All right, now nah, just Javik. Looks familiar. I've been studying this ship, its crew. There was a Normandy before this one. You died in an attack. Something like that. But then you were resurrected to fight the Reapers. Maybe you and I have a thing or two in common. But you have something else. The reasons you fight are still alive. The friendships of the people around you. And more. You and the Asari are... joined? You could say that. I'm not. Your pheromones are. Is this why you wish to continue living? For their affection? I care about them. But I know that they could die on any given day. The only thing I know for certain is that everyone dies if we don't win this war. Better to keep the world at a distance. Which you seem to do quite well, Javik. What's in here? It is called the Echo Shard. Passed from soldier to soldier, Prothean to Prothean. Each adds their memories to it. Like a beacon. How far back does it go? To a time before the Reapers. It is all that is left of my people. And you don't want to remember that? Imagine if everyone you knew was dead. You could not remember their faces, or the color of the sky above your home. The memories were gone, but so was the pain. Would you want to remember that, Commander? Even if it meant watching everyone die again? Reopening old wounds, especially big ones, isn't going to help. Perhaps you are right. There were others. Soldiers who served under me. Like your crew. What happened to them? They are dead. Where I left them. We have a saying. Let old ghosts rest. Then there is some wisdom in this cycle. If you can live by it. Dark Channel. Oh. That's dark. All right. Uh, I wonder if there's anything on the on the poop deck. No, uh, just a space hamster. One devil will romance a space hamster. All right. So, what does that entail right now? Because we can get started with the next thing, sort of. And the next thing is some more DLC, actually. Uh, we're going all the way back to... Yeah, so this is like the point of no return, so we're not doing that. Uh, we're gonna go here. All right, and then we're gonna do Bryson. Yes, sir. Oh, Commander Shepard. We've been expecting you. Just a moment. And Hadley? 
Could you gather the Leviathan data for us? Apologies, Commander. The rest of my team is out investigating leads right now. I'm Dr. Garrett Bryson, and this is Task Force Aurora. What's your assignment? Our mandate is to investigate legends, rumors, old stories about the Reapers before anyone knew they existed. That's an interesting goal, but is anyone doubting the Reapers exist these days? The Alliance is still desperate for intelligence. Reaper motives, their operational tactics. Anything that can give us an edge. And how did you wind up in charge? When the rest of the galaxy says something doesn't exist, I take that as a chance to prove that it does. So you're in it for the challenge? For the truth. Even as late as 2148, humanity still thought aliens were a myth. That was within my lifetime. Once that myth was proven to be reality, our entire history changed. Reapers were part of that reality, too. But even they have a history, Commander. If we could just uncover it, there may be a weakness we can exploit. Alliance resources are stretched pretty thin. Is this really worth the time? Just imagine if this task force had existed three years ago when you discovered the Prothean Beacon. This whole war might not have happened. But now with new information we've uncovered, a breakthrough's near. Hadley, do you have the data? No! This is Commander Shepard. I need C-Sec at my location, now! You shouldn't be here. The darkness can't be breached. Transit records show his name is Derek Hadley. He's worked here for a couple months. Shepard, I monitored a C-Sec alert from this location. Were you harmed? I'm fine. But I could use your help sorting this out, Edie. Take a look through their files. I need to know what this task force was up to. At once. What? I... What's happening? You just shot your boss. He's dead. Why? After you arrived, it was dark. Cold. Like I was somewhere else. That was... Take a good look. You did that. You pulled the trigger and killed him. No. No. I couldn't have. No! I'm not a murderer! I saw you pull the trigger. Then you tried to kill me. I swear, I didn't! Commander, this does resemble reports of indoctrination. Indoctrination? Me? What about that Leviathan Bryson mentioned? How does that tie in? It's some kind of creature. Our field teams have been tracking it. That artifact came in from our researcher, Garneau. He sent an audio log if you wanna... What's wrong? Turn back. What are you talking about? The darkness cannot be breached. Damn it. Get them over to the clinic. See if they can tell us what's wrong with them. Yes, sir. Commander, you'll want to see this. It's an outgoing message from Dr. Bryson to Admiral Hackett. Dr. Bryson, you have an update? Admiral, the Leviathan of Dis that we've been investigating, I think we're really onto something. Give me the brief. About 20 years ago, the Batarians discovered a Reaper corpse that had died in battle. They covered it up and denied it ever existed. But I'm intrigued by the larger implication. What could have killed the Reaper in the first place? Exactly. That's the real Leviathan. It's worth pursuing. Continue your investigation and update me on the progress. There is also a follow-up message from a few weeks later. Admiral, the Reapers are shadowing my field teams as if they're hunting Leviathan themselves. Whatever it is, I believe Leviathan is nothing less than a Reaper killer. Almost an apex predator. And it has them nervous. If we could just find it, imagine the impact on the war. I'm formally requesting assistance in tracking it down. You'll have it. This is now your top priority, Doctor. Find that thing. It appears we were meant to be that assistance. I see Bryson's point. Anything capable of bringing a Reaper down is worth finding. Despite the potential dangers it could pose, I would agree. But we won't know unless we can find it. Bryson's assistant did say they recently received a log from their field researcher. It may yield more information. Alright, uh, we're gonna peace out. I guess they did bring Edie back as a voice actor, as by guess.